curious. So it's choosing to be more curious okay. about a person's behavior or why they said what they okay. said or why they acted the way they acted okay. rather than jumping to straight furious. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Because Adulting is Hard podcast. I'm Alita Caldwell and you are seeing my friend Mandy Benedicts again. I've actually told her that I would love to have her on more often. I mean, at least once a month is what we're looking at. I said, I actually miss when I taught <laughs> that we used to do like morning meetings. I don't know what any other way at this, the school that we were at together, we did morning meetings. Mm -hmm. And so when she talks like this to me on the podcast, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in that. So I am excited to have you back. Um, remember she is with Rooted Together and we are, is it out? Tell me, this is, um, this is the copy of your book. Yeah. Pre-orders are being okay. taken now and okay. the actual book should be here end of August, beginning of S September. Sweet. Yeah. And I told her, I said, I love when you read me, I'm the English teacher and her, read yeah. this to me. Tyler will make sure he attaches everything to this podcast so that yeah. you can see where pre-orders of books and things are talking about. So talk to me about what we're going to talk a little bit about today. Yeah. So, and really just looking at the time we're living in right now. Mm -hmm. And when you and I talked, anytime I'm afforded the opportunity with a platform to encourage or empower or equip people, then I feel like that's a responsibility and such a blessing I've been given. So thank oh, you for that. No. And, and really just looking at the backdrop of where we're at in our world right now, I was trying to think of something that I actually talk about in Made to Impact okay. that is very relevant right now that I wanted to challenge people with and encourage people with. Okay. And um, it, there is no question that we are living in a time right now where everybody is walking through their day in survival mode. And our brains are firing in that. We are looking for attacks uh, you know, at, at, every, every, at every turn. And our bodies respond to that. So there are people who are much more anxious. We are angry, we are sad. We're confused, and it seems like there are so many issues right now where there is a hard line down the middle, and you either have to be on one side of it or the other. Right. We are very divided. So mask, no mask. School at home. No school. School, right. school in person. Right. right? Uh, you support police or you support Black Lives Matter. That there's no room to reach over to the other side but still believe what you believe. Right. right? And so in thinking about how we can continue to be impactful. Cause I think everybody wants to impact the world around them. Oh. I do believe that. I just believe that sometimes they are not going about it in a way that they are able to be heard. Okay. Right. Um, Ralph Waldo Emerson has a quote that says, and I hope I don't mess it up, but it's something to the effect of who you are is so loud that I can't hear what you're saying. Right. <laughs> Sit on that for a minute. Right. Like when people, their tone or the word choice. There are oftentimes I read things, especially on social media, and I think they're very valid, but I'm so caught up in the way they are communicating it that they're not validated anymore. Right. Right. And so in order for people to be impactful, one of the things I talk about in the book that I think is a pretty simple thing that we can, I say simple, yep. nothing impactful is easy. But I think it's something that's tangible that we can take. And that that's something that, yeah. that's one of the things that you and I talk about is that when I walk away from, from something and I, I need a tool, kind of a tangible thing that I can look at. Yeah, yeah, so this is one tool that, and again, everything I ever try to teach people, I'm a student of, because I think that being a teacher of it, you really <laughs> have to dive in, right? Oh, absolutely. And really un unpack it. So I haven't fully arrived, but it's this idea that as humans, if we would choose in situations to be more curious rather than furious, okay, I think that would allow us a space to offer more grace, to stay a little bit longer with people that we don't mm -hmm. agree with, rather than jumping straight to judgment. Correct. Right? And let me tell you so what So say that, that one yeah. more time. Curious. So it's choosing to be more curious. Okay about a person's behavior or why they said what they okay. said or why they acted the way they acted okay. rather than jumping to straight furious. Okay. Right. And so let me give you an example. Okay. So it's really just the question that we allow in our mindset okay. to, to come first. Okay. Right. So somebody will take one that happens all the time, especially in Houston, cuts me off in traffic. Okay. Right. If my first question in my mind is I can't believe they, X, Y, or Z. Okay. How dare they? Right. They are no more important than I am. Where they're going is no more important. Versus 
the curious question that is, I wonder why they X, Y, or Z, right? Um, and that's a- One is leading with almost, we call that empathy. You know, yes, I mean, I, I call that yes. leading, with, leading, with empathy. leading with empathy, entering the situation with an empathetic heart. Yes, yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's that's on the road where I okay. might not ever see that person right. again, whatever. Or we see a, a post come across our social media from someone we've known for a while, or maybe someone says something to us. Mm -hmm. Or we're in a store and somebody, you know, jumps down our throat for something and we're like, where did that come from? How dare you? Rather than, man, I know that what I just did didn't warrant that. So I wonder, right. I wonder what has gone on curious. in the world. Yep. I'm curious, curious, right? Be curious about Be what- Be curious mm -hmm. about, about where that person comes from. Now, here's the reality. I can be curious about who you are and what your story is and you know, why maybe you, the filter with which you see because of the experiences you've had. I Correct. always say we, we pick up the tab for all the people who've come before us. Oh, that's right? for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so not always are people going to let me in though. Right. But it is still my responsibility mm -hmm. to assume that everybody, especially right now is doing the very best they can with what they have, what they know. Right. right? And I think, and Brene Brown talks about that. She does. I think it's in her most recent book, uh, Dare to Lead. But she talks about this idea. I wonder if we would just assume that everybody's doing the best they can, would that change the way I see them? Right. And it does. If you'll take the time to actually put yourself and lead with empathy. Right. You know, the way that, the way that you said that. You know, but my, that cause that, that requires self reflection. You have to be. You have to make what I've found as I've as I've mm -hmm. studied Brene Brown and some of these other things as well, is that you have to set that mindset that you right. you have to come to the table yeah. with the intention that I am not always in the right. How can I enter this? What yes. am I doing yes. to enter this situation where mm -hmm. I'm not coming in with? everything that I'm dragging with right. me. And that it's okay for me to still feel the way I feel. It's okay for me to still believe very strongly in what I believe in. But impactful leaders, one thing I know that they're very good at is they are very good at communicating in a way that people hang around and listen, yes. even if they don't fully agree with them. Absolutely. Right? And they're also able to listen in a way they're able to sit at the table, not just with people that agree with them. That's easy. That's but easy. They're able to lean in mm -hmm. and become proximate. So that's the P and impact in the okay. book. There's a whole chapter on becoming proximate I to love people. It. Yep. And we're in a, a place right now where social distancing is a thing and we can't physically be with people all the time, Right. but we can still lean in and try to get to know the story behind the person and all behavior is communicating something all right right all of it is and that's where the curiosity comes from and then I'm able to hang around a little bit longer because I, I can realize in my rational mind that what they just gave to me is not mine to carry correct that belongs to someone else way down the line that has hurt them in some way and 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 you're not spending your time being focused on something that they're that they drug in the room with you right. like you let them take it back out with them right and right. that's for me too i, right. I know i have unloaded and it's usually on the people that are closest to me for I have sure on people <laughs> and let's talk about being a parent how would that change my parenting if with my 14 year old i led with curiosity mm -hmm more than being furious right right that if when he does something my first thought isn't i can't believe you just right but rather it's i wonder what maybe i've done to make him think that either that was okay or to make him think that you know that a, that's how he can be it is and, and we did, when i worked with in behavior units we did that a lot H helping you know reflect on the behavior um so that we could see what what was help uh, right. give the child words so, yes. cause that's what we're doing there. We're, we're teaching through giving them words. Right. And I think if we'll go back to those, right. Yes. And I know there are people listening who or people who will read this, who might think, uh, well, yeah, that sounds good and all, but how am I going to sit with this person? I don't even know to get mm -hmm. to know, you know, and that's not your responsibility. Right. Your responsibility is the people that you're, when you're in a space with somebody, mm -hmm. right. Um, not jumping to the assumption that they flippantly made a decision right. and could care less how it affected anybody. I mean, we're at a time right now where school districts all over are making decisions that are affecting thousands of families. Mm -hmm. 
and there's no decision they can make that is going to make everyone happy. And so if I assume that my school board and my superintendent, if they're sitting home going, man, I really hope this decision is really terrible. <laughs> right. For these, I hope some of our kids are hurt. I hope that some of our teachers get I, they're I, not thinking I, that. No. Even the worst superintendent you may have, they have no desire for, for that to any, happen to their There is no people. will Ill, Ill intent at all. Right. And if we, and like you said, and, and Brene Brown talks about it too, it's really entering the situation and right. from a different mindset. Yeah. And can I say as some of the most impactful leaders as well, mm -hmm. allow their people to be curious. Yes. I literally just mm -hmm. had this conversation with my team this week. I, I don't pay you to follow me. I pay you to think. Yes. I mean, that doesn't mean that mm -hmm. you have to agree with everything I say. And you have to learn to use your words. That's right. Because I, I, I'm an intense person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you don't learn to use your words, right. how do I know right. you, we're not going to move together? And you, you see that a lot. And, and I, I want to go back to this kind of where we had this very strict divide. Yeah. Um, do you, Have you found yourself where you... Li I have literally with some people, I just have gone to... I, I'm not going to discuss things with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. not because I'm... Because... It just doesn't, I mean, is that a fair thing to say? I, no. Can yeah. I use my words like mm -hmm. that? And I mean, I, of course, the anxiety in me right. tells me, right. oh, Lord, I shouldn't right. tell people that. What no, is your thoughts on I, that? I definitely think that's fair. And I think that that tells me that you've tried in the past. Yes. It tells me that both of you have put things on the table. Um, and I think there comes a time where, you know, separation is best, mm -hmm. giving yourself that breather, that time. To me, the, the focus on the relationship. 100%. I can't lose this relationship based on this divide. Nope. And there are people who, and I'll I continue to use social media because mm -hmm. that's where we see people right. putting it out the most, right? And there are people who will post things and I... 100% sit there and I disagree with everything, but I have seen their heart in other ways and Absolutely. I've seen how much they love their kids. And I've seen the kind of, you know, whatever, in whatever capacity, teacher or, mm -hmm. you know, neighbor, I've, I've seen them be that. Um, and so then it puts me in this place, of, like I can literally separate the person from the post. Right. I can separate the person from the behavior. It's like I used to always say, I'll tell Brady, I love you. I don't love what you're doing. Those are two completely separate I mean, separate if, you, things. if you've known me in the course, you've known me for a long, I mean, I've had lots of different phases of my life. Yeah. I wouldn't want somebody to take a microscope and look at any one particular no. part no. of it. So I think really entering situations with grace. Yeah. So I know you're going to read to me out of this book too. Yeah. Where are we going to yeah. go in the book? Well, same, along that same principle, mm -hmm. I just wanted to kind of, uh, you know, expand on that particular yeah. chapter, right? Uh, where we talk about this idea of curious versus furious. So um, it says, when you choose to intentionally look beyond what is instantly apparent, you will find hope. You will be much more likely to find solutions and you will always find the person. Behavior can keep us from seeing people, but in reality, all behavior is communication. It is a way to show how you feel. Behavior is not who we are. It is a reflection of how we feel. And I believe one way to make sure you don't stop at the problem is to choose to be more curious rather than furious. Curiosity keeps us close, whereas being furious leads to division. Absolutely. And if we're not seeing that play out, but it's not too late. It right? is not it's too not late. It's not too late to put on the brakes and go, you know what? Let me change the lens with which I've been seeing this person or this situation or this decision. Ooh. We can do that. We can. And Mother Teresa said, um, uh, we have no peace because we have forgotten that we all belong to each other. Absolutely. If I will fight just as hard for my neighbor's kid as I will for my own, even if we believe different, then love wins. Every right? time. Every love time. wins every time in the situation. Every time. And it's not frou-frou feel good. So it's what do you fact. have going on with your business? Where can we find you? What do you have going on with um, yeah, Rooted, Rooted Together? together. Mm -hmm. So Rooted Together, uh, we have, uh, there's a website right okay. now, obviously, large groups aren't really gathering, <laughs> right. uh, but there are virtual opportunities where people are getting their business together and their people still need to be encouraged. So okay. those opportunities are available for trainings and such. But uh, there is a website that will be, you know, added this to this link, post. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested in, in pre-ordering a copy of Made to Impact, that link to order that book will be on there as well. 
Uh, I have a Facebook page, Rooted Together okay. LLC. You can well, certainly all like of that will be that. on there too. Yeah, um, I, I enjoy having you. I, I've you. always enjoyed your writing. I know that I've told you that more than one time. So I, I love going through Thank this you. book with you and you kind of giving us some tools. Appreciate um, it like we had i like i i want tyler to work a little bit with, with us on that acronym yeah. and get getting that in there as well yeah. or not yeah. acronym but the the comparison you're there. talking to me so that's yeah. why you're talking acronyms i know <laughs> absolutely so um thanks so much and thank have, um remember to live happier because adulting is hard thank you